Hi all and welcome to episode two of my vlog. Uh, I'm naming this week's episode New Bike Week, mainly because I've got a new motorcycle. Um, I'll come on to that a bit later on, but yeah, it's been another been another tough week. Um, really, really been busy. You know, had uh, a lot going on with my divorce, uh, sorting out some child maintenance stuff and trying to get access to my daughters, which through this lockdown is proving to be quite difficult. But you know, hopefully those things would improve with time. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's just it's a bit boring still, isn't it? Really, there's not a lot we can do. The big excitement of each day is you know going to the supermarket and seeing what rubbish we can buy that day or getting the Amazon delivery come through. But yeah, it's um it's, it's tough, isn't it? I went the same as yesterday, and it's now down to one person per household again, which you know is is you know I didn't realise you had to do that, so it's been a bit tough. But um. But yeah, it's, it's it's all getting a bit boring again, and it feels like we're going backwards, back to a complete lockdown like we were in March. It didn't feel quite that strict before, but it seems that we're going to have to put some types of things in place. But you know, having seen the numbers and, and what have you recently, it's, it's no surprise. But we are starting to see these numbers go down in terms of cases, so, so that's really good to hear. But um, yeah, the big excitement this week was the new motorbike. So um, you know, you're going to see. Uh, the whole process really of me going through that so i had to give my bike a clean which i didn't video um i had to do that pretty quickly one lunchtime in between showers but um yeah i, I do a walk around my old bike um show you what it looks like when i get to the delivery handover center and then uh, i do a walk around of my new bike which um hopefully you'll like right so i'm off now to go and pick up the new motorcycle the r1250 gsa the gs adventure as i said the other day i usually have the uh, the standard gs which, which in essence I think only has like a smaller tank etc but um yeah off to get it now I'm not too happy because I've got to do a 65 mile round trip and it's absolutely hammering it down but um these the uh the um trials and tribulations I suppose of being an all-round rider so this is my old bike I say old it's only five months old only 600 miles I've not had much of a chance to ride it this year well, the last the last five months since I got it, but uh, gave her a clean up yesterday. We get all ready to go back. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this bike actually. I like these GSA exclusives. Um, comes with the uh, slightly different paint job. Comes with the gold. It comes, comes with an Acapovic exhaust as well, so it sounds amazing. And on these models, you also get the uh, TFT screen, so you can do the uh, arrow view navigation on there and. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it gives you quite a lot of information. It's a really cool bike. I really like these, um, and they've got plenty of power. It's got the 1250 engine, which I believe is variable uh, cam time. And so, yeah, a lot of fun. So here I am, I'm at the handover center now, which waiting to get my bike. And uh, one of the things we have to make sure is that our bikes are clean when we drop them off. Well, um, after riding 30 miles in the rain, I can now confirm my bike is not clean. So I have to wait and see what happens. But uh, yeah, it's not very happy, but there's not even any jet washes open so that I can go and get it clean now. Um, yeah, this COVID really uh, is a pain in the ass when it comes to doing stuff like this. You know, but this was immaculate this morning. The exhaust pipe was clean, as you can see now, it's absolutely caked in you know, just mud. And I came up on the A3 and then the M3, so it shouldn't be that dirty, but yeah, absolutely caked in it. So to wait and see what happens, but uh, looks like I might be on for a £30 fine or something just to get the bike back to being clean, but uh, we shall see. Okay, so I just got back after a 25, 30 mile ride home. Uh, the bike is absolutely fantastic. I was frozen when I got back, so I had to uh, just shoot up into the apartment and uh, get changed some warmer clothes and warm myself up a bit. Journey back is about two degrees, so as you can imagine, I was absolutely frozen. Um, but yeah, here it is, the new 1250 GS 40th anniversary edition. Um, I really like the bike. I've not had a GSA before, um, but after 25, 30 miles, I'm already really enjoying it. Um, I'm gonna give you a bit of a walk around the bike now and let you see what you think about it. So from the front, as you can see, it looks like a standard, you know, 1250 GSA. Um, but as you come around, you can start to see the uh, few accent points that the uh, 40th anniversary um, adds. Uh, this one comes with the gold wheels. Um, it's also got the uh, yellow kind of accent points that uh, kind of form part of this 40th anniversary edition. Um, one that I didn't realize it was getting was gold handlebars, which I think are uh, pretty cool. Obviously you get your TFT display there as standard. 
and because this is the um, anniversary edition you also get the mount for the uh, optional navigation system which I don't use I just use the arrow view nav on the TFT display but um, yeah really nice obviously as with any GS you get an array of different buttons and controls and uh, this one also has the, the SOS call so if you are in a situation where you need some assistance just flick up the uh, the cap and you've got the uh, SOS button so you can give them a little call um, as I said, this is my first GSA. I usually ride just the standard GS, which has the smaller fuel tank and doesn't have all this framework on it for the panniers, etc. Um, and one thing that I uh, um, haven't had before is the large fuel tank. Um, and I thought it was going to be a bit heavier. As you can see, it does make the bike a bit wider, um, almost the same width as the engine uh, with the boxer there. Um, and what I've actually found it actually plays no difference. Somebody asked me, uh, how "Have you found the weight on the ride home?" and, and I didn't make I didn't find it any different at all um, I'm yet to fill the tank up and I think this is probably about a 30 litre tank I don't think it's gonna to be too much of an issue um, it's got a slightly different seat as well and I think because it's the GSA it sits a little bit higher Obviously, I've got on the center stand here but I'm six foot four and when I um, when I first got on the bike the seat was in the highest position uh, which is where I would usually have it on a GS but I've actually had to put this into the low position I just felt like I was l sitting on top of the bike and sitting quite high and, and quite a way forward so I just dropped it down there slightly um, cover points like I say it's got the, um, the gold handlebars it's also got these uh, yellow hand covers I'm not a massive fan of them being in bright yellow um, I think there's maybe slightly too many colors with the gold on there and it's it's quite in your face but I do quite I don't I don't really uh, like them that much but I'm getting used to them um, one thing I really like about this bike is that it comes um, with this option 719 yellow detailing and one thing I didn't realize that it was going to come with was these uh, billet cylinder head covers um, I've had these before on an urban GS uh, the R90 urban GS and they look fantastic I had a black and gold 719 and that had the black and gold billet pack on it as well uh, this bike has come with this 719 that comes on this and it comes with these yellow accents and whilst i'm not overly keen on the yellow handlebar covers i actually quite like these yellow accents on here the bike did come with some additional black ones but um i think i'm going to leave these ones on the bike i think they're quite cool and just give it that little bit of dimension they go quite well with the paint job um just kind of brings it down to a lower level like i say with the handlebar covers, i just think they're a little bit too much but that's my personal preference and, and some people might actually quite like that uh, looking at the rest of the bike one thing i was really excited to have was the front fog lights and um they have already made a big difference uh in in the uh when i was riding home it's quite dark and it was uh, yeah really nice and like i say just some additional detail that i quite like with it being the gsa uh the gold wheels i've had previously i really like those um that's just the alarm coming on the that the uh, ignition has switched itself off um this has the the uh, keyless as well which i'm not gonna lie i'm a bit of a snob now i can't really live without but um yeah really enjoying the bike really like it so only done like i say they're 34 miles but no doubt i'll be uh, doing a few more over the coming weeks as and when we're allowed to get back at this lockdown um i hope you've enjoyed this walk around um let me know what you think well, i hope you've enjoyed this episode uh, if you are enjoying this vlog um please do subscribe to the youtube channel please share it with friends uh, and please you know help me promote as much as i can but um for now everyone keep safe have a great week and uh, I look forward to seeing you on my next episode.